Hi, Nina Nova Sweden here. Um, I'm sitting here on the floor by my bed, my very messy bed in my very messy bedroom, in my very messy home. Um, and my whole life has pretty much been a big mess for the last at least eight years. Um, uh, in every aspect of my life, actually, not just my home and and me and my hair and all of that, um, but pretty much everything has been a mess. So I figured everyone was talking about New Year's resolutions and stuff, and I don't really believe in resolutions that way. I believe more in setting goals for yourself, setting. Um, what do you want with your life? And you don't have to do it New Year's. You can do it any time. And I actually started to sort of my life and sort of getting everything a bit more organized last year. Um, but there's still a whole lot to do. So I figured I was gonna... Because uh, I, I have been straightening things up, you know... When I get in the mood, when I feel like it, I've been, um, in between I haven't done pretty much any, anything. And I had, I have health re reasons and, uh, also had pretty severe burnout and I'm still struggling with all of that. But I don't feel like that should stop me from getting what I want out of my life uh, even if my body says nope there's still stuff I can do right and it doesn't say no every day even though it's quite a lot but still um, so I'm thinking I've been seeing these challenges or games or what you want to call them on YouTube uh, 30 days of minimalism, 30 days of decluttering, 30 days of blah blah blah. But they all do the same thing. Um, and since we're closing in on February, I figured I start February 1st and I'm gonna do the decluttering game. Now, February only have 28 days, so I will do 28 days of decluttering. And my goal is to keep doing this every month for the rest of the year and probably January next year too so I do a full year but I'm um, not sure I'm gonna make it now I'm not aiming for minimalism I'm not a minimalist I'm a crafter which kind of makes it impossible and I also do a lot of recycling crafts so yeah I might look like a hoarder sometimes but I, I always look at things and think about other things I can make with it, you know? Um, so it makes it kind of hard to throw some things away. But I have gotten better over the years. I mean, like now, I know I will never love sewing. I know how to sew and I suck at it, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, coffee we all need coffee sometimes um, so like I said I started already last year uh, and I decluttered a whole lot and I had my ex-boyfriend come with the trailer and we took three loads no four loads uh, over the course of 2018 four loads with his trailer to the recycling and it was a lot and it was just junk, nothing I could, you know, donate and sell or stuff like that. It was just pure junk, you know. Just broken t-shirts and broken furniture that has started to mold because I have put them in the storage. And it's pretty, you know, damp out there. So, uh, it was just junk, you know. Nothing I could really fix or something. And I say that as I sit and watch a baby crib that I was supposed to sand and fix but it just ended up standing in the corner I never got around to it 
because my life is such a my house my home is such a mess that i just don't have the space to do it unless i do it outside and i live in northern sweden which means winter to cold summer mosquitoes so i repainted my outdoor furniture last summer and there's quite a lot of mosquitoes stuck in the paint yeah makes them kind of you get these little speed bumps in the paint from the mosquito but so i have been doing a lot of organizing and i have been sorting out my life and i have tried to organize my time better i have you know worked on all of those those things um, and also been doing a lot of mindfulness or meditation. I've been doing a lot of stuff like that. And also, you know, um, um, just trying to sort of organize my head a bit too. Um, but I'm thinking 2019, I'm going to get my home, my home, my house. <laughs> It's actually not my house yet. I hope to buy it soon. Uh, my home. I hope to get my home in order. And so I'm gonna do these thirty something days on, of decluttering game. And that that game is on the first of every month. You declutter one thing. On the second, you declutter two things. On the third, you declutter three things. And you keep going and on like February has 28 days so on the 28th I declutter 28 things you know and declutter doesn't mean you have to throw it away it means you can donate it means you can sell it you can give it away you know you can do pretty much anything as long as it leaves your house um, so I figured February 1st I'm gonna start and I'm gonna try and film every day not so much for your sake I'm sorry but I'm gonna do it for me um, as a way of organize my organization if you can say stuff like that um, it's more like a way for me to be consistent with something to do something no matter what happens because my life is kind of messy still and a lot of shit always happen always uh, and whenever shit hits the fan and you just <laughs> yeah I know I'm missing some teeth um, when shit when shit happens I tend to just I just I don't do the things I'm supposed to do I don't really um, I said go for myself but I hit speed bumps so many times that I run out of energy so when I hit second speed bumps I just can't get over it you know so I need a lot of motivation and since I don't have many people around me that can, you know, push me and stuff, I have to find ways to push myself. So, like, um, I have a lot of pain and aches, and it gets better if I go out and walk. Even though it hurts walking, I know it makes me better, and it makes my pain periods a lot shorter, and um, overall it makes me feel better. And I have a dog, but... When pain kicks in, she's a nice, good old dog, and when pain kicks in, it was a bit too easy to just open the door and let her do her business by her own, which didn't help me at all, and also was really boring for her. Um, so I was looking for ways to motivate myself to go out, go out and walk every day. Um, so I started with, there were this... Um, activity apps I guess you can call them where you can sort of log uh, your results where you see your distance you see how long you walked how many steps you've taken all of that stuff and yeah it was motivating for a while for about 
you know, a few months or so. It was fun to see how I got stronger and better. And then I had a pain period and how I dropped. And just from walking, easily walking five kilometers at a fast pace, I couldn't even manage two. And it, it, it hits pretty fast when it hits. So I struggled to even get two kilometers. And that was, and, uh, but so that kind of made me more depressed, you know, to see how much the pain actually affects me, how, how much less, sounds wrong, how, how much less, uh, I don't know, that sounds kind of strange, doesn't it, how much less, hmm. uh, but, but I could see the difference in what I could accomplish when I felt good and what pain did to me. And that only made me more depressed about having the pain and being depressed gives me more pain because you know you do less and you work less and you do everything less and you all of that stuff. Um, so I figured I need something else and I found Pokemon Go which has been a great motivation for me to go out and walk every day and keep up my daily streaks and for the first year almost a year. I started in February 2017 and in November I think 2017 uh, President Ano came and made some stops here. So between February to November I didn't have any stops, I didn't have any spawns, I didn't have anything like that. So I had to uh, spend money on the game to play with incense and stuff. So and since I never have any money, so it became kind of expensive. But I saw it as instead of you know going to the gym, which meant I had to drive to. At that time, the next village had a gym, but it still was like thirty kilometers back and forth, and a gym membership card and sort of good clothes for a gym and all of that stuff. Um, so I saw Pokemon Go as a cheaper alternative to that. So even though I spent money on the game, it was still health benefits for me. Um, and I feel I speak so little, because I'm home alone o almost all day. I study from home, so I don't really go out and be social in any way. And also the pain has and the uh, burnouts and the, that kind of shit just make me less social. I mean, I like talking to people when I'm out and about. I, I was at the store yesterday and I talked to a lot of people there, but I mean, that's nice, but it also makes me very, very tired. And uh, I don't have the same patience as I used to have. I never was a very patient person, but get, with the pain and the burnouts, it, it gets even worse. So, um, um, well, now I've kind of lost track of what I was talking about. I'm really tired right now. don't know if you can tell, but I've had a long day. It's only three in the afternoon, but it's been a really long day. And also, I'm um, at the end of a pretty bad pain period again. Um, so I haven't slept very well. But... It's getting better. I felt when I was out walking earlier, I could walk a lot better today than I did yesterday. So hopefully I'm on the way out again. I'm into a better peri pe period. Yes, a better period. Um, anyway, so I'm trying to organize my organization. And by doing that, I thought I should do daily vlogs on what I declutter and why and maybe a little bit more about how I organize because I will declutter a lot more than the set number of items like I will probably throw away a lot more than three items on ah, let me think Wednesday I think Wednesday is still January is it? I 
should have checked my calendar. Anyway, so um, the recycling place is only open every other Wednesday. So uh, I'm going to have to go leave a lot of stuff there then if it's not too cold. Um, so anyway, I will probably declutter a bit more than the set number of items on the day in question. But I figured if I do like daily vlogs and I film the stuff that I declutter, that I actually will declutter every day something. You know, I will do the number of items that day. Uh, and I think that would make a good routine and, and also I haven't really bought anything this last year except for crafting items um, and it hasn't been too much either I bought some this summer but since then I haven't really bought anything uh, I buy stuff for my pets like this tree here for my cats that broke actually so uh, had to rebuild it a bit um, so I don't know if I got everything I wanted to say said but um, starting February 1st I'm gonna do 28 days of decluttering so February 1st I will get rid of one thing February 2nd two things February 3rd three things and I don't know if I'm going to show some more of my organization. I don't know if I'm going to show you how messy my house really is. Because that's kind of a... I mean, I will never be a minimalist. And I will never have perfect order. I'm not even aiming for that. I just want a house that functions. That works. Works for me, I should add. This is my home. It has to work for me. Mmm... So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to follow my decluttering organization journey, please stop by. And I won't... Yeah, well, maybe I will. Hmm, we'll see how I will do if I will mix in some crafting with it or not. I guess we'll find out. So, if nothing else, I'll see you on February the 1st. So, I was about to say happy crafting, but happy organization. No, happy decluttering. I don't know. <laughs> see you when I see you. Bye.